and welcome back to the Team Bandit Gang YouTube channel. And today I am going to start this series of videos where I just sit back and talk to community of... <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Team Bandit Gang YouTube channel. And I am going to be starting a series of videos where I'll just be sitting back with members of the Gwent community. And I'm just going to be having some conversation with them, see what's up. Uh, when I say community members, I'm talking not just members of the community, like content creators, streamers, etc. They're all members of the community because, you know, we all, we're all connected by this game that we love sometimes. Um, <laughs> and that is Gwent. <laughs> and uh, today I am joined by someone who says to me that this is actually his first public appearance. Um, you guys don't know who he is because I haven't said his name yet. Although if you guys have seen the title, you'll know who it is. He is someone that has appeared in probably most of the streamers chats um you could say he's maybe one of gwent's biggest stalkers who knows uh his name oh, wow. <laughs> i am joined only today some people. only some people <laughs> not all of them let's disclose that later uh we are joined by big daddy 843 otherwise i think we call you big d on uh the team bandit gang discord so um yep. how are you doing today sir if you can just introduce yourself, introduce yourself a little bit for those of you for those of the community that don't know who you are well, it's uh, a few hours after the open that was last night, the what quarterfinals, yeah, and yeah, uh, we're we're all short on sleep, but it's a bright Sunday morning, and hopefully, uh, we can get some decent content that isn't uh, entirely incoherent today. Uh, who am I? Um, hmm. Uh, I'm mostly a viewer. Uh, and I, I enjoy talking to people a lot and given that it's COVID and, and uh, there's been turnovers in my profession uh, I decided that um, I, I might want to join Bandit Gang as a writer so it, it start, I, I played Gwen all the way back when it in early early beta and then got, got my full collection and then stopped and when uh, Homecoming turned around, uh, came around. I I got back into Gwen, but uh, it 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 didn't really click, or or I was really busy back then in university, so I I stopped playing um, really soon after making a couple meme decks and squandering all my scraps. So um, I I was really waiting for Gwen Mobile to come out, you know, because um, when we are on the go and we're busy, we can just get a few games in during lunch break or, or like when we're traveling uh, and, and when that happened um, about mid last year I think uh, and I, I think it was a credit to CDPR marketing team like I saw the advertisement that uh, it, it, it was out on mobile finally after like two and a half years or something like that yep uh, yeah I, I got back in the game uh, about six months ago yeah uh, and I tuned in to, to the streamers, I uh, talked to people in the community, ha just having fun in general. And, 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 and let, let me say this, uh, I know it's a bit of a segue, but yeah, um, Gwen has literally the best community I have ever encountered uh, out of all the, the computer games and esports and, and everything that, that I've ever like played or engaged with or whatnot. So, so um, that that warmth and comfort and, and, and friendliness and whatnot, uh, it eventually got me to thinking, you, you know what, I, I'm pals with all these guys, uh, I'm having fun with them, I, I have some skills as a writer, uh, why not uh, put it to some good use and see where it takes us, give, give something back to the community maybe. Exactly, and now you know who he is and other videos over. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so that's just you know, a bit of a backstory about uh, who he is. And to be perfectly honest, I have seen you like on chat on other streamers as well. Um, uh -huh. Like, but you know, like, uh, yeah, that that stuff that you communicate with through chat, like, I don't think it's as well. I wouldn't say meaningful because obviously you know who the mm -hmm. people are. But I think yeah. there's just value in that having that sort of face to face one on one conversation. Yeah. And and especially in times like these, in times of COVID, where like yeah. you know online communication has become like really important and has become like a really good way for the people to connect together. Um, yeah. yeah, you did mention a lot, so I'm gonna touch on the fact that <laughs> you know you said you played beta, like you know throughout uh -huh. like was that around your new university years. Uh, were you yeah. in university when beta came out or when you got uh, into beta? Yeah, I was in university. I was in university for, for quite a long time. Uh, so so something like five and a half year span or something like that. And okay. 
Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, I was in university when Beta came out. I was still in university when when I think or, or just graduated recently when Homecoming happened. So I, I've been working for the last I think three years, three and a half years. Okay, yeah. so you have a full time job? Um, not currently. I'm freelancing as oh, a I writer. See. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense. Yeah, because I also started beta around like university, and um, I like I wanted to try content creation back then. But the thing is, like, I mean, as you know, university can stockpile yeah. a lot of work on our table, so it can be kind of hard to make time for all that stuff. Um, but like, yeah, our stories are almost pretty similar. I mean, like, I also got I also kind of stopped playing Gwent, you know, around the homecoming. Um, obviously, since yep. then, it's made a good bounce back i mean yep. obviously like a lot of people that have enjoyed the beta can't really get into the homecoming aspect because they just fell so in love with the beta that it's hard for them to you know make that transition uh, i totally understand that because you know it's happened to me too in the past mm -hmm. but yeah so you talked about you know joining the team you are on trial as a writer for team bandit gang uh, i yep. remember when uh, bj was like telling me oh hey i can't i can't imitate him as well as i can imitate rashid but <laughs> he was talking to me about how you know he brought in an influx of article writers i would have loved uh -huh. to have a video editor or two but you know what like i mean it could be hard to find them because either they're working on other projects or they're just you yeah. know, too good to be for this game um <laughs> so have you like so in terms of your writing have you started any articles and such like are there, is there anything you're currently working on or um anything that you can yeah, tell so, us <laughs> so sure um there's two things that we are currently working on and the first thing is revamping uh beginner articles on our website and uh i think it's really important because uh when when i was was coming back to 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 gwen uh it was quite because everything had changed and, and and my and and i'm actually introverted before i get to know someone so i i kind of need some time to warm up so i i when I think my first couple months on Twitch, I, I wasn't really talking to anyone. I was just like lurking and and watching and whatever. Uh, so the main resource uh, uh, of learning for me was um, all the different team websites like um, Eratusa, um, Elder Blood, uh, TLG, and and of course Bandit Gang. Uh, it, it, <laughs> no, 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 definitely Bandit Gang. It was. was uh, like the first, I think one of the first streamers that I, I started lurking on was Zigzag, like Ziggy's. Uh, he's and, around, uh, he's that, around uh, your area, right? He's, oh yeah, I don't yeah, know exactly. how Thailand, where are you from? Uh, I, I'm from Singapore. How so, far is that from Thailand? Uh, are you guys close in time zone? Um, uh, I think there's one hour difference if I, I'm not wrong. Okay, uh, but technically like, on the, the longitude or latitude or whatever, we are, we are, we are right on the same, we are kind oh, okay. of on the same line. Oh, he's, okay. In fact, yeah, uh, he's about. I, I, I'm not sure in distance, but he's probably about uh, a day's drive away. Yeah, I, I could drive to Ziggy. I mean, I don't have a driving license, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, if I could drive, uh, I could drive to Ziggy's uh, town or city or whatnot in about like a day, maybe so, two days. Yeah, so like your time situation is pretty similar. Like yeah, exactly. around like your yeah. time it is for him if not like an yeah. hour or two ahead yeah so, but so yeah, yeah you were you're saying you were lurking on his stream <laughs> yeah so so ob obviously one of my my first points of contact with uh um web with websites was uh with going websites was was bandit gangs yeah uh and and all these articles uh, and writing that that come out from all these uh platforms is is truly invaluable in terms of helping new players to, to progress because not not everyone wants to to engage in, in fact i would probably say it's the minority of people who who engage on twitch or or reddit or or would actively go on a discord to ask people questions like like mo most learning would, would be passive and either self-directed or, or via reading or videos or, or whatnot so uh it, it was really important to me. I, I don't like videos because because they take a long time. Uh, I, I just want to get all that information in as fast as possible. So so articles were, were the main way that I, I first started learning about uh, Gwen again. Uh, it, in, that, in that sense, I, I, I at least personally feel that, that it's really important to focus on, on making these articles updated and increasing the quality of it 
for for beginner players. That way they 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 don't they don't lose so much and get disappointed or or, or get accused of net decking. Yeah, or, or <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> get you know there. To exactly. There we go. You're uh, you're gonna tell uh, he's. He's uh, filled with the spirit of Bandit Gang. Hashtag say no to net decking. Go check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, you know, the way you talk about, like, you wanting to write articles because you want people to, you know, because it's the way you learn, right? The way you learn yeah. decks, the way you learn the game was reading through articles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, the way I learned to play Gwent was through videos. So, yeah. like, well, you know, articles are your strong spot. Videos are, well... I wouldn't say videos are my strong spot, but I also hate watching videos that last, you know, 30 to 50 minutes. Not yeah. slamming any deck guides aren't there, wink wink. But, you uh, know, you try and watch a video for 50 minutes and versus like you read an article which takes probably 5 to 10 minutes, you know. Yeah. And even if you read it twice or three times, it's still not going to take you 15 minutes to digest yeah. it all in. Uh, because at yeah. the end of the day, you know, the whole point of reading a deck guide or an article is so that you're informed about the deck, um, you know. Like for those that do videos, they show gameplay, you know, to show examples because it's a way to visualize yeah, how it works. Yeah. Articles do the same thing in a sense, but, you know, you kind of visualize the matchups in your head and, yeah. you know, you take it to practice, but it's more sort of impromptu in the sense that, you know, yeah. you're not watching any references where it's like, okay, so you play this first, then you play this next, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, every, yeah. matchup, every matchup is different. Yeah, video videos are definitely a, an invaluable resource. Uh, can't can't knock on, on them at all. It's it's just personal learning preferences, I guess. And I okay. To be fair, when I hang out on Twitch most of the time, I'm not play, paying attention to to the cards. Uh, I'm just okay. Initially, I was paying attention <laughs> to the cards. After I I started talking to the chat, uh, I uh, that that became my my main form of uh, entertainment or or engagement. Uh, and, and I would highly encourage uh, lurkers in streams to to talk to your streamers, uh, or at least if they're the type to respond, or at least talk to other people in chat because it's it's really fun, and you can learn a whole lot if you you ask questions uh, nicely, hopefully. <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, like you, like because I also started out as a lurker when I used to start watching too. Because you know, uh, like ninety percent of the gaming community who's on Twitch, who's doing content creation, we're all introverts, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be inside of our rooms. We would be outside doing yeah, something yeah. else, and we wouldn't be playing Gwent. Um, yeah, <laughs> like definitely encouraging lurkers to you know speak to even like other people in chat that you know just answer yeah. the question and stuff. I mean, you know, unless you're on Rashid stream where you might you know get a. <laughs> a bit of backlash or two for no reason at all. No, he's he's a good guy. Uh, he means well. Yeah, he I think. Is. Uh, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, it's all good. Uh, we're all fun and good. Like you know, like you mentioned. Sorry, let me just say one more thing about you yeah, talking about go, the community go. and Gwent is. Yeah. You know, you're saying we're the best community that you've seen, like in terms of yeah. you know content and like community engagement. And I think the yeah. fact that the game is a bit of a niche uh, mm -hmm. thing. You know in terms of the card game genre and honestly there's yeah. really nothing wrong with that it like gives a lot of yeah. people the chance to talk to each other and like you see a lot of familiar names and you know hopefully faces once you know travel <laughs> restrictions are lifted and we can go hit like Gwent masters or something but like you know i feel like with everyone being introverts nobody's gonna want to talk to each other because i remember when i was talking to weevil this afternoon well my, this afternoon my time yeah and um yeah. It's funny because we were like, oh, we're all like interactive now. But, you know, when we hit matches and stuff, we'd be like, don't talk to me, dude. I'm like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm an introvert. I'm going to get tired. <laughs> but, you know, regardless, yeah, it, 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 it is tiring. It, it takes, uh, what do you call them? Spoons, mental spoons or what, whatnot. I think the term is. Yeah. Uh, it's it, so easy to talk I, I in front of a camera. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, no. The, I think the trick's just to get everyone drunk first. Like, some social lubricant. Ah, there we go. So, speaking of drinks, what's your favorite, man? Like, what's what's your go-to drink? Oh, man. I I have had... I, I, I've had a long, long history with alcohol. And the the tastes have changed over the years. Um, how... I don't know. What is my go-to drink? Okay, right now... Uh, right now, yeah. Water because I'm trying to be sober. Um, but I did have gin last night because I, I have no idea how I would have survived. Um, I think it was... I, I have no idea how many hours I was away or what was going on by the end of it. Like, like, like doing many things throughout the day and then joining our watch party to watch the, the open. Uh, uh, and then 
uh, my schedule was packed and I had to wake up early this morning as well. I, I, I don't think I could have survived that without like uh, gin and or at least some other form of alcohol and uh, some monster energy. Please sponsor us, by the way. Uh, <laughs> well, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, if we get that sponsor, then maybe uh, you might be doing a better job than uh, KD in terms of uh, getting sponsorships and stuff. And uh, when you first yeah. said water, I said I said I wasn't going to edit, but you said water. I have to put a booing sound effect there. Like, I ask you your go-to drink. You say water? Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I... I, I drink very infrequently these days, uh, probably like once every, sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's like once a month, it, it just depends on, on the season, yeah. Yeah, I, that's I, I've gone through, yeah, I, I've gone through different phases with all the, the craft beer until I got really sick of hops and everyone was just selling IPAs and all I could taste was hops. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I went to France on exchange before, so so there was a period of time that, that my favorite drink was probably wine. Uh, so it, was, it, it changes with time, yeah. I, I feel your like you're, you're, you're one of the most... Oh, I'll answer your question, don't worry. <laughs> you're one of the most yeah. Yeah, open people when it comes to drinks, because I feel like there's people who are so picky about what they drink. Like some people will say like, oh, I like I like rum, but I'm never going to drink this and that. With you, it's like, I like this, then it's this, and it's this, and it's never the same drink every time. Like, you went from gin to water to... Oh, I forgot what you said when you were in France. <laughs> Wine, craft Wine, beers. exactly. So you... It, I, it I mean, I drink, yeah. I, I've drank... I wouldn't say I drank everything under the sun or that I enjoy everything. Okay, I kind of do enjoy most things. Uh, but I, I think there's significant merit uh, to be had in, in... I think this has a bit to do with my background in Singapore as well because we are very, very diverse uh, and and food culture is extremely strong. So, so, so eating a large diversity of flavors and, and expanding one's palate is, is, is quite highly regarded. Uh, and the same sort of uh, uh, cultural drive to to, to 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 like taste and experiment with with things it probably extends to extends to drink as well. Yeah. 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 So to answer your question, um, yeah. I I'm broke. I'm poor as hell. So the yeah, drinks yeah, the drinks too. I drink are <laughs> they come from my dad. I get whatever uh. drinks my dad drink. He drinks red <laughs> wine, he drinks white wine after dinner, and he drinks beer. That's it. He won't drink anything else. So I drink with him. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't like, I mean, it's kind of similar to what you said, but like, you, you know, like, but I'm poor. Otherwise, I would love to try out yeah. more drinks. But <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I was poor probably because I was trying all those drinks. <laughs> No, that, that's that's totally understandable. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, right? Because you said like it, because of the diversity, you know, like different cultures. Yeah. So you have like you know different. You'll pick up different food tastes every now and then. Like here in Canada, in Vancouver, we're actually very diverse. Um, but like you know, I, I think like for most people, you know, they want to keep that sense of culture like in their household. Uh -huh. So my parents cook a lot yeah. of like Filipino food. So like we're I from see. the we're from the Philippines. Uh, we moved here. Cool. Yeah, we moved here like sixteen years ago now. So it's it's been a uh, it's been crazy. I'm still not used to the uh, cold. Sixteen years later, believe it or not, I still enjoy uh, the uh, very warm temperatures of the Philippines. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely a tropical person. I really really hate the cold, and yeah. even though it's probably something like twenty twenty eight, or it's it's probably like twenty eight degrees uh, centigrade outside right now, and and I have this jacket on, and uh, it's it's fine. No no sweat. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Like, you know, I, like, again, there's so many things I want to go to and pl places I want to go to once, like, travel restrictions are lifted. Like, I want to hit a beach somewhere, probably in the Philippines or wherever. I, I feel like I want to go somewhere that I haven't been to already, but, you know, nothing hits hard like home. So. so, first of all, and I didn't mention this in the beginning of the video, but this is an exclusive. Like, up to this point, uh -huh. you've never seen his face. I'm talking to the audience right now. You've never seen this guy's face. This is BG exclusive content. All right. This is BG exclusive content. I'm going to write it out right on your screen right here. The very first face reveal of uh, Big Daddy 843. And that sounds very, very weird. Um, I got to ask you, where did the name come from, dude? <laughs> okay. Um, this, yeah. Okay. I get asked that uh, quite often. Like pe People compliment, com compliment the name. Uh, uh, okay. So, so. Uh, the the first thing to note is that uh, I'm not big and I'm not a daddy. 
Uh, the the name is about twenty years old. Um, do you have you played Age of Empires before? I have actually. Which Age of yeah, Empires so are you talking about? The first one. The first one? Yeah, no, I pl I played all three. Yeah. Okay, but I just wanted to know yeah. which one you were so, playing. <laughs> so there's a cheat code. That cheat code's uh, Big Daddy, uh, and it gives you this car with, with which goes really really fast and and a rocket launcher, <laughs> a dude with a rocket launcher in it. So. So I use that cheat code a lot. I mean, I was like, I don't know, a nine or eight or nine or whatever. So so obviously playing a strategy game is is quite. I think it was quite beyond my faculties at, at that time. Yeah. So I use yeah I use that that big daddy cheat code a lot, and uh, in primary school, uh, my index number for the longest time. So so in class you have numbers and, and your own number then It's like your stuff. ID, right? Uh, Identification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So so my my ID number was uh, thirty eight. So so the first time they uh, I was first introduced to emails uh, when I was twelve uh, in school. I, I'm I we had a computer at home but, but we didn't have internet. Um so so uh, they got us to to come up with nicknames and and stick our index number behind it. So I I, I got Big Daddy. I stuck my <laughs> stuck my index number behind it. That, that's thirty eight at that time. And 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 as I ran through like numbers and and, and uh, uh, aliases and whatever and whatnot. At some point in time, thirty eight. Uh, be I, probably because I already had a username, uh, I already had an account, and I forgot the password or something, so I had to create a new account. <laughs> it, it got flipped to eighty three. Okay. <laughs> and at some point in time, I ran out of of eighty three. Probably like I'd forgotten that one, uh, the password again, and and now I needed a third new account or something like that. And four is right next to three, like easy to type, you know. So so okay. it became Big Daddy eight four three. So the eight four three, the four was an accident, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, accidentally on purpose. <laughs> well, it wasn't your first choice, so like it's probably it, they were. Uh, but, was... but it, it stuck. It stuck. Yeah. yeah. So like for those of you who haven't heard the story and was expecting a more interesting one, like I was, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it no, no, no. <laughs> I, I mean, what do you expect? Uh, uh, I was in the bar and, and there was this big guy. Dude, we're trying to daddy. farm. We're trying to farm likes, dude. Get, don't you know the protocol? <laughs> No, wait, wait, is this, wait, 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 is this supposed to be PG or, or like mature audiences? Uh, well, it's mature audiences now, so... <laughs> no, it's not! I, I haven't talked about the story in the bar with the big daddy yet. <laughs> well, would you like to get on it then? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll tell them personally, if they ask. That's fair, that's fair. So when you tell people where you get your name from on Twitch chat, do you actually go uh -huh. with this, do you say this long paragraph saying what you just said pretty much in person or do you like simplify it? Uh, it's it's simplified, but uh, I think as anyone who's seen me in chat will know, like I'm quite talkative and I like to go on long ass spiels and, and stuff. Uh, <laughs> not the most attractive trip. I, I think I like the sound of my own words uh, a bit too much, but you know. The sound of as, your as own words or your own voice? There's a big difference. Uh, I, I don't really like my own voice, at least not when I hear it. Play okay, back to me, it's, it's, it's real awful. Th uh, then, then you're normal. Then you're normal. Because I don't... But once we finish this recording, I'm not going to want to listen to it because I don't want to listen to the sound of my own voice. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I know I'm narcissistic, but I'm not that narcissistic. Got it. Noted. <laughs> but no, it, it's all good. You know, we're having... We're, we're just having fun here. <laughs> um... <laughs> So it's quite funny because when you're having actually just before we were having this conversation, uh, you said you were watching UFC. So are you yeah, a fan? Of you're, you're you're a fan of UFC, like those like martial um, arts style of. Yeah, sport? so I've been, uh, I've been doing martial arts since I was twelve. Uh, where like my my parents banned me from from learning martial arts formally. Uh, when I was in primary school, I would get into brawls all over the place. Uh, and, and they were like, he's just gonna get worse if, if you if you teach him how to fight. So so despite the <laughs> fact that my my dad had done martial arts before as well, he did karate. Uh, uh, they refused to let me. Uh, when I went to secondary school or, or high school in in America or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of got out of their hands because I. Okay, I, I went to an elite school, elite, but but yeah, and and within that. 
plays. They they like to rank. Like he's like, just he's just a smart aleck guy. Like, they they would like rank sports clubs and, and shit. Uh, and, and so so um, there's a selection process if you want to get into the best clubs. Uh, I I got into the judo club. So so uh, it was really really tough competitive training like five six days a week because you gotta be the best. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be national champions. <laughs> yeah, well, that was expectations. Not. Yeah, so so and, and then there's this rival school and we'll hate on them and they'll hate on us and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so so I've been doing martial arts for a really really long time uh, I, I did judo when I was in in high school or secondary school uh, after that I did boxing Jeet Kune Do, Filipino martial arts um, catch wrestling MMA uh, Krav Maga but you've explored a lot of like martial art types oh yeah and Tai Chi because yeah after I got old and and my my body needs rehab and stuff uh, you kind of start doing old people things okay so <laughs> what what's what's the idea of Tai Chi because I've I because uh -huh. uh, there's an area here in Vancouver um, yeah. that, that's full of like you know like Asian people um, yeah I'm not gonna name specifics. It's it's a it's diverse guys. I'm not rich. Sure. Um, <laughs> and in, there's this really big mall and like in there's a, uh -huh. there's like a China market or like there's like a small booth where like you know with Chinese like restaurants, yeah. well Asian restaurants uh -huh. like there's like yeah uh, in there sometimes as well. Um, I can't name any others because I can't pronounce them. But <laughs> there are people doing Tai Chi and I never uh -huh. quite understood what it what they were doing. It's funny because uh -huh. my my sister was doing something like in Al when you're on a trip to Alberta and she was doing kind of similar to what they were doing uh -huh. and my yeah. dad thought she was doing Tai Chi and she's like no I'm just playing with my shadow and I was like what because oh, we what? thought she was doing Tai Chi it's like <laughs> wait, what the heck is going on well she was like looking what? at her shadow she was making all the moves like similar to I, what those old people were doing so I, I don't see any shadows here so I, I can't try but <laughs> but it's just the way I, she was moving like moving her <laughs> arms around and it's like like is she actually doing what like like that stuff so what's the idea behind tai chi like what uh, is it what's the idea yeah. behind it 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 depends on the type of tai chi that you're doing actually so so for me um i you know you you watch all these kung fu movies and, and you think about oh chi and, and like uh, how yeah. i can fight 10 in, <laughs> in wing chun or whatever you know and and like uh, and you kind of as a kid go, oh, I'm really excited to learn these things that can, can let me beat up 10 people at once. <laughs> like, I can be a one-man army. And, and um, so, so from young, I was, even though I, I did uh, mostly uh, uh, Japanese and, and, and I'm of Chinese uh, ethnicity. Uh, so even though I, I, the vast majority of the martial arts that I've done is not Chinese, uh, that there, there was always this quest to like find a a uh, a Chinese martial arts teacher who could teach me to fight, and 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 the thing is, if you look at um, traditional martial, Chinese martial arts performance in, in MA or 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 it, it, if you go on YouTube and, and type like kung fu versus whatever you. You, you get a lot of, of stuff about uh, Kung Fu being dance, about how they don't fight properly or they don't spar. You, you get all sorts of Chinese master gets beat down by one arm boxer, quite literally. Uh, th things like that. And, and it's quite understandable because, uh, mm, as I said earlier, it depends on the type of, of martial art you're doing. Um, and the vast majority of Tai Chi out there is, is similar in the idea that uh, it's not intended for for fighting it's meant for physical rehabilitation uh with i, I won't say it's the same as yoga but there are some certain uh analogies that can be drawn to things like yoga or or pilates uh relatively uh, less intensive um sports and activities that that obviously have very active and, and fast and and, and high energy variations, but but also can be toned down and made suitable for for health and rehabilitatory uh, rehabilitative practices. Yeah. So in my case, it, it took a really long time. I, I only found because 
Singapore is not part of China. Uh, okay, uh, we we have a lot of uh, uh, business from from China and lots of migrants, but no, we are not in China. Uh, we're not part of China. <laughs> Look up uh, Google Maps. Uh, we're not guys. a colony. Yeah. Check Google uh, Maps. So so it, 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 because these guys are really because during the 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 Chinese uh, Cultural Revolution, they they killed a lot of uh, or, or or they forced a lot of. Uh, 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 masters of many professions, uh, including martial arts, in into hiding or uh, and, and things like transmission of skills was lost. Um, a lot of them were killed uh, or, or forced or to to stop. Um, so so it's it's really hard to find these guys who who are capable of doing and more than that teaching uh, traditional combative martial arts. In in some cases, you will you will see martial arts that that uh, have have died out because uh, a sports version of it has uh, ha- has supplanted its original as part of its evolution because it's safer to train uh, or or or, or it, it's it's more commonly available or it just happened to be right time right place. So you see this in like Muay Thai, uh, in, in that the the. Original combative. Oh yeah, I did Muay Thai as well. The original combative form Muay Boran um, is is very very hard to find in terms of an authentic teacher. Uh, you'll get lots of great amazing Muay Thai gyms and lots of great amazing uh, Muay Thai fighters, but you you'll be hard pressed to find a really good uh, Muay Boran coach who who isn't like hoodwinking you or whatever. Um, and, and you can see the same in terms of like Japanese Jiu Jitsu, not Brazilian. Like the traditional version of the art is. is it, I won't say died out, but but it's very again very very hard to find an, an authentic teacher. So I only met this uh, Tai Chi master in I think uh, when I was 24, 23, maybe a bit younger uh, around around that part. And of course, I, I was skeptical, uh, and 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 but at the same time, I, w- I was also moving into like. I wasn't young anymore. Like there were tons of injuries uh, that were building up, and and bad lifestyle choices that were killing me. So, uh, on one hand, I was happy that I I had found a guy who could teach me how to fight in a certain way, but uh, on the other hand, um, uh, I I think I think it was time to like stop getting all bashed up and my nose broken and my ribs broken again, uh, <laughs> and like uh, uh, start working on on rehabilitating the injuries and maybe someday we can go back to being all like buff and fit again yeah so so the idea behind tai chi sorry sorry we've, we've gone through this long history of martial arts <laughs> no I, problem no I'm problem pretty, be, be, because it, it i think it's it's uh i either misunderstood or, or there, there's not a lot of authoritative information on the topic or or academic discussion on it uh i've written papers on this actually uh but but yeah uh, the the point is, is yeah, in an ac- academic, got a lecture, you know. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Like um, so, the point of tai chi. Um, well, it depends on what you're doing it for. If you are doing it for health and exercise, um, follow the movements. But I mean, all of it ha- you have to work hard. Like the reason why I'm not good at using tai chi to fight is because I didn't work hard at it. And, and doesn't matter whether you are rehabilitating or training to to fight or playing Gwen, you got. Or, or it doesn't matter. Whatever the hell it is, you have to work hard. Um, the point of Tai Chi is, oh, if I say something wrong, my master's gonna kill me. Uh, <laughs> is he gonna watch this? <laughs> uh, no, but my friends might, and, and uh, they'll report back to him. And, uh, and the next I see. time he, and the next time he's in Singapore, he'll be like, every day. I, I, I mean, <laughs> like, 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 okay, he he doesn't call me. He'll call me by my real name. But yeah. Um, what is the point of Tai Chi? Goodness, <laughs> entire books have been written on this subject. Um, hmm. If you want to narrow it down, what do you do Tai Chi for? If you do it. If you practice it. I'm going to assume you did because if you write... If you wrote papers on uh, this and you don't yeah, do it, so it's a waste. The point of <laughs> Tai Chi is, is internal power. Um, uh, there are three so-called internal Chinese martial arts. Uh, the terminology, nomenclature, and classification is an entire damn book on itself. Uh, but the main point of Tai Chi is to develop internal strength or power. Uh, how does it do this? Um, 
I, I'm not saying you muscle is muscle. There's there's no getting around with around that. But yep. there are ways and means one can use the the human body in a in the maximally effective way, in terms of uh, bless you. Thank uh, you. In ter- oh, in you heard that? Of- I was muted. <laughs> oh no, I saw. That. Oh, you saw. Uh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that. There are ways to move that optimal, and and parts of the body that can be strengthened optimally, and Tai Chi is one way of doing that. Okay, understood. Yeah, it's now, one particular system of doing that. It would it be something you do if you were to try and make a Gwent push to go through all the mental stress of you know playing ladder? Would you use Tai Chi as a means to you know recover your inner strength? You know. As you, um, it, it no, might be because that be a viable no, option. No, no, no. Doing tai chi is extremely strenuous and taxing. Like, like it through through all the martial arts I've done, is literally the hardest martial art I've ever done. Uh, uh, I used to lift. Uh, I used to run half marathon. I never got to full marathon before the knee gave out. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, like tai chi is literally the hardest thing I've ever done. In terms of a, a physical sport or, or activity, so I would not recommend it for for, for recovery. <laughs> I do. I, I would recommend uh, meditating, uh, having a power nap, uh, maybe a stiff shot if it works for you, uh, but not tai chi, no. And I, I guess after today's well, today as in like the day this is getting recorded, clearly. Listening to just a bunch of beats and just you know rap bopping your head out kind of works oh, too. Oh yeah, apparently yeah, that, 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 get, get your jams on. Yeah, that's that's become now a, a very viable <laughs> method for anyone who's looking to focus and concentrate. Ironically enough, yeah. um, but no, it, <laughs> it it's kind of funny because you kind of went through like a long lecture of like you know different martial arts and stuff, and it's like, and you, after like five or ten minutes, you're like, so what's the point of tai chi? I was like, that's the question. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, that, that, that's a philosophical, yeah, and, yeah, and, of course, and, like, system, system <laughs> things that we can talk about. But, but really, it's, it's just a way to to get stronger physically, and, and a way to to use your body in 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 an efficient ma- uh, manner. Yeah. Right. Right. No, that's totally understandable. And like you know, when you mentioned, I think like in the beginning of this video, where you know you like to talk a lot, you're very sociable. I can definitely see that for sure. Um, you know, just based on our conversation that we're having here. No, that's a good thing, honestly. Um, uh, I hope means... people don't get bored. Oh that, no, it, it means I'm doing less of the work. <laughs> it means you're doing more work than I am. All it's I did was set it up. If, if this is boring, it's gonna be my fault. <laughs> Your word's not mine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think it should yeah, be okay. fine. <laughs> so I did have one more question I want to ask uh-huh. you. And um, like, so, you, you know, you do article writing for Team Bandit Gang. How you don't yeah. do, how come you don't, like, you've never gone into, like, you know, streaming or video creation? Like, that's just not your kind of thing? Um, I did work with videos uh, in university, but usually my role was in front of the camera or behind the camera not in the the cutting room i'm very very i've done photography and and a little bit of cinematography uh but my 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 work on in 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 terms of editing is absolutely terrible uh i i do do some music uh remixing and and whatnot like i'm very much into soundtracks or or movies and shows so so i that was one of the roles that that I performed uh, in university, uh, but in terms of content creation being being like the, an end to end process uh, rather than a specific role in a team, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm I'm quite good at that. So, um, so unfortunately, yeah. it's still that that power still sticks with me. I'm still the only one. Uh, the yeah, but I, if you want me to make like. <laughs> I mean, I haven't done this for a really long time, so I, I'm super rusty. But uh, maybe I'll, I'll like remix some music or, or something. Yeah, I mean that would be great. Remix music, or like you said, like you've delved into cinematography, yeah. like you've delved into yeah. movies, which means like if I have this idea yeah. of creating like this certain effect that would normally come out of a movie, um, then you know I could probably go to you for some for some help and like like ways you can think about visualizing those things mm. because. Like uh, you know, I, storyboarding or, or like, yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Like you know examples. at the end. Yeah. Like th- that's what I love about making a video is that you're telling a story. Like that's the those yeah. are the kinds of videos I love. Like the Lore Blast series, like it's still my favorite and it's the most successful. Yeah. Uh, it's very obvious yeah. because it tells a story, and it's yeah. a story that merges in Gwent and Witcher together. 
Like, yeah. and it, it's kind of big because there's stuff in Gwent that you're not going to find on The Witcher, even if you read yeah. all the books that most people just <laughs> don't even read in the game. Um, there's still some lore that's like some pieces of the lore that's missing unless you, you know, play Gwent or you at least check out like the story. Yeah, every, every time, sure. every time I tell, every time I have a tidbit of lore or I hear a new one from, from someone else, shout out to Ellis, Ellis, how do you pronounce? Ellis? Uh, Ellis, yeah, shout out to Ellis for, for being like, external law keeper or, or whatnot <laughs> uh but yeah uh every it, it really I, i'm really uh fascinated yeah by by this entire world that that is 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 kind of like uh the brainchild of of many different artists working on it i mean yes uh sapkowski is that how we pronounce it yeah, yeah i think so sapkowski. Yeah, sapkowski yeah started this whole thing but but since then like it, it's changed as a as a as an idea this world has changed hands so many times and, and had so many different amazing people work on it yep uh that that, that uh, i'm i'm still very 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 much uh curious and fascinated by the things that we we learn about it every single day yeah yeah i mean i have like i have this collection set of witcher books up on my shelf i've only yeah. read through two of them so far i've been telling myself to get around it but like i can't uh, <laughs> or I just don't want yeah. to, I don't know. But like, it's kind of sad that my favorite character in The Witcher from the games is not, it's not, he's not book canon. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, <laughs> uh, it's gone to, Ro is... it's gone to Rodim. <laughs> the god oh, himself, of course. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's not book canon. So that kind of upset me when I figured that out. But um, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of things are on book canon and, and uh, there, there'll be endless fan wars about like. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, canonicity. Uh, and exactly. Secret. Uh, let's forget it, guy. It's like, let's just all, all, all just have fun, okay? Uh, <laughs> there you uh, go. Like, just, some... If you like it, you like mm -hmm. it. Just, just, just like it. Don't, no need to, to get into a fight over what's better. And what's yeah, better. exactly. That's yeah. a words of wisdom right there. And I must say, actually, for uh, your your level of English is really, really good. Like, I think it's even better than mine. Uh, it, it's our first language. You, you <laughs> use you use big words like non clemature. I was like, oh my god, you just pulled that word out of the, out of your arsenal. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> Someone who pulls a word like that out of their arsenal means their English is really, really good. Good. And um, yeah, I mean, regrettably, like, you know, I have seen you on chat, but I don't think I've, we've ever actually like interacted, uh -huh. like directly talked uh -huh. to each other, like, you know, for uh -huh. an extended amount of time. So I'm actually very happy to have this, you know, conversation with you. And oh, yeah, um, I'm having fun. yeah, no, this is a lot of fun. And, you know, speaking of 40 to 50 minute videos, we have reached the 40 minute mark. So I feel like okay. if we're going to go on any longer, you know, like, <laughs> oh, no. we could reach that maybe, point maybe. where... <laughs> Maybe a part two after the the stamp has has been. You guys hear uh, that? Maybe a part two. After. Maybe after his trial, you know, we'll maybe yeah. do a bit of a checkup update on him. See what other words of wisdom and philosophy and lectures that he can give us. <laughs> and remember the the paper on you know a chosen martial art, and you must write everything about it from philosophy to how it works oh, on gosh, my no. desk by tomorrow morning. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm already working on on on, on the beginner articles. I, I, I have a few more things to report to BJ on tomorrow. And he said this weekend, yeah. Whoa, he gave you a deadline? A soft deadline, I guess. Uh, but I, I mean, wow. I asked for one because because I I want to I, I gotta get motivated and, and plan things and whatnot, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, totally understandable. I mean, if if BJ was if I was getting word that BJ is unreasonable, then. Uh, I don't uh, know, man. I don't know. We gotta have some words. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I just asked him, like, when do you want this report or, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, this report. Wow, you really are a university student, are you? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, you gotta write a report about whatever you're, you're revamping it's an article, or, or man. editing it's an or article. whatever. First, right? <laughs> it's an article. Come on. <laughs> what? You, you mean you just sit down there in front of the thing and hammer, hammer it out? Of, of course I do, but I don't I don't say it publicly. <laughs> but no, it's, it's all good and fun. Personally, I am excited to have you on the team. Um, uh, for those, if you guys did make it this far, then I am going to reveal that his beginner series, we are starting a beginner series of series mm -hmm. of videos on the Team Bennett Gang YouTube channel. You won't see it for the next two weeks, which means that if you didn't watch this up to this point, you're not going to know about it till it comes out. But if you do, then there's a leak for you there. So that's going to wrap up episode one i don't even know what to call this series like i never gave it a name to be honest but it's like you know 
just sitting down with the community with community members and having a conversation with them getting to know them outside of you know the scope of gwent uh because you know at the end of the day we're all people man. the, the, the end zone not to be confused with the, the, en zone. the end zone <laughs> the end zone the yeah. end zone there we go you play i I, I don't know is football a thing in your place do you know what football is <laughs> yeah uh wait uh real football american right? football no not 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 football american football <laughs> i'm sorry no real yeah, football the, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be uh you know about that one yeah yeah no no that's yeah, fair. But, I, uh, i'm a basketball so guy i don't play american football wh so. which football uh yeah what about football and, and the oh, end no, zone? the the so you know how in real football they're what are they uh -huh. called like the goal the goal what yeah. do you call that yeah in American the goal football goal. Yeah. the uh -huh. goal zone is called the end zone that's what it's actually called so <laughs> I'm taking I'm literally taking the name <laughs> off of that so I'm not the first one that came up with it but it's it's okay <laughs> as long as you don't get sued <laughs> yeah exactly so I mean I do you have any like what do you call it social media stuff where people can find you or do they just want to find you in chat when you're uh, when they're yeah. You have a Twitter, OnlyFans, Tinder? No, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I do have a Twitter, but I don't really use it. I think 144 characters is too limiting. Although they've come up with like TwitLongers and, and series tweets nowadays. Uh, but TwitLonger, uh, yeah. people just use it to vent about being actually... <laughs> like, I mean, no, I don't don't get me wrong. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I'm yeah. not saying anything, but I'm just saying like TwitLonger can be used for a lot more things other than that, yeah. but, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> I, um, social media, we'll see. Uh, just, just check me out in chat. Uh, maybe you'll catch me in some, some of the communities. Um, yeah. Come to the Bendit Gang website uh, and read our stuff. He's already, he's already, he's already on it. It's good. So yeah. You, you, you were, you were like, taught all that. Awesome. Oh, oh, this YouTube <laughs> channel. This, this YouTube channel is a good place too. Exactly. And you know, if you guys don't know what to say to to Big D, if you guys see him on chat, just ask him. Do you do any Tai Chi? It's that simple. Oh, <laughs> that's how you can start that's how you start conversations guys there I'm we go for anyone the, who's shy tai chi dude, or, or i'm gonna become the tai chi person yeah. has anyone ever asked you about that kind of stuff on twitch chat like you ever gone those questions no. well there you no. go ladies and gentlemen you are going to get them now <laughs> i mean I, I think Denfai knows that i did martial arts but i've never given him a detail actually what you got isn't even the detailed breakdown <laughs> like, 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 like specifically at what level and, and we what don't level, have enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have the time limit. I am getting yeah, tired I know, right? <laughs> and I need to go to sleep very I'm soon. I'm so sorry. That's More okay. No, no worries. No worries. I'm probably going to watch Netflix anyway when I'm, when we're finished. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when people say I'm going to sleep, what they really mean is I'm going to watch Netflix or uh, for the next hour whoa, or so. Whoa, dude. Mature. Oh, wait, no, we are mature audience. God dang. <laughs> I, I should have I, said I PG thirteen. Oh, it's, but, but not. You know what? I don't know. If they don't know what it is, then maybe they're too. Be they're actually they might be too young to be playing Gwent. To be perfectly honest, because Gwent does have some suggested language. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much, Big D, for joining me here today. Um, and you, you know, Andrew. again, once again, guys, exclusive BG, BG, <laughs> uh, BG face reveal of uh, Big D, and um, you'll ch keep an eye out for his works for sure. And uh, you. yeah, we're gonna be heading out, and I'll catch you guys all in the next Team Bandit Gang YouTube upload. See you. And we are doing another giveaway for a subscription to the Bandit Gang YouTube channel, and the winner is. Oh, exciting! Woo! The winner is... It's you! Woohoo! Just, just activate that subscription down below. Congrats!